What's going on, people? This is Dumb Orange 927. Um, hi. Sorry. Um, here today, guys, I'm presenting you another Destiny video. Part 2 to my Destiny, um, 2 wish list. Um, so yeah. And, you know, I just want to get this out of the way. All this content is my own. I made these clips myself. You know, I just want to get that out of the way because, you know, I'm... I understand what people mean when I, when they got pissed that I kept using other clips and other stuff. Like it, I, I was, my intentions for that was only just because I, well, two reasons. One, I just didn't really have the time to get the clips in. And two, a lot of the stuff I was posting was from E3, and you know, I just needed the clips. So, you know, and a lot of other stuff was unnecessary, such as the, um, Robocop vs. Terminator rap. I, I wasn't meaning to try to steal credit or anything. I was just, you know, I just thought it'd be funny for my fans to see. You know, it's a great video. You need to check out the original guy who made it. In fact, after this, I'm probably gonna make a, um, link in the description for the actual video under my channel. You know, I just want to be fair. But, um, here today, guys, I'm showing you a video on Destiny's, um, 2's wish list part 2. Um, Dusk Thunder is not with me this time, so, you know, everything I'm doing is on my own. Everything's on my own. You know, it's just, like, just me. So, um, yeah, um, so the first thing I want to keep in mind is that I have... Despite the issues I've done and even rants, I have enjoyed the core game of Destiny. I what Destiny reminds me of a lot of is is like Gears of War, you know. And I'm not talking about by its mechanics or anything, but just the success. Or actually, Gears of War is a bad example. Probably more like probably more like Assassin's Creed, as you know. I, professional reviewers such as IGN and stuff, they, they played the game, they enjoyed it, and they had said that it is a great game, but it has been noticed what a lot of issues and flaws. However, Every Assassin's Creed listened to those mistakes, like those mistakes people have been criticizing on, and then Assassin's Creed went on to become a very successful franchise, and I'm confident that Destiny will go that same route despite its issues because ultimately Destiny isn't a bad game you know like even the people who found it disappointing myself included had to admit that the game itself was good you know so you know like what is the primary like things I want added because I've already in part one told what I think they did wrong and what they need to fix now I want to see what is like removed and added and for this I'm gonna say what I want removed one I want the random loot system removed you know I, I the loot system is don't get me wrong it's a great idea and like like the the things it it's not a bad concept, however, it it's a very equilibrium thing because someone worse than you could get awesome stuff while you get nothing. It, it just, it's not fair in any way, shape, or form. And to be honest, it just gets annoying. Like, I, I'm not saying it can't be random at all, but the random selections should be depicted from the actual thing you get not that not random by the stats because ultimately it is true the person who does better should have the better reward that's how most shooters work you know COD does that Battlefield does that and you know even like despite Halo like even starts and power up and stuff you're gonna be rewarded still for doing better because you get more XP and credits faster 
as well as an actual match you're rewarded with those power weapons because, well, you won the fight over them. So, you know, it just, it doesn't Maybe make much way. sense that Destiny's system is completely random. And I'm, and I don't mind a little bit of randomness, but this is insanely random. Like, the way it should work, Maybe if I'm they keep the, the random loot system, I, I'm in my right mind just to say remove it altogether, but if, if this idea, because again, it is a good idea overall, I will, I'll have it tweak. What it should work by is the randomness depends upon how good you did. So if you're a person who did really well in a match, the loot system should reward you with different things that are really good. They're just Victory. different selections of whether or not you get a certain weapon or armor or loot. You know, or whatever, you know. Wow, the weaker players go through that same process, except the stuff they get isn't as good. Because I don't depend on the loot to get me good stuff. Mo well, remain. sometimes. The, the crypt art stuff I sometimes get, but most of the rewards I get is from the actual match or thing. Like, I earn them as I progress, and you know... You can't, like, I understand like that, that Bungie's different and all, but, you know, you need to have at least a fair thing, because then it just makes it look like the game's encouraging equilibrium, where it's awarding players that aren't doing as good. Which, if they're doing that intentionally, fine, but if they're not, which I'm willing to bet they're not, then it, then the loot system either needs to be tweaked or just taken out altogether and just have it where you know you just earn armor and gear and stuff the traditional way which was by earning xp and credits and spending them on that better gear that's you know or crucible marks or vanguard marks you know just any of those rather than this random system you know like i'm just saying so that's where it starts the next like i might just revolve this whole video on the removing of the loot system because like as much as the loot system can have its benefits it's just a primary frustrating thing when i see a guy who does worse than me or like has less kills or more deaths or just or if i just feel i was more effective than him in the match and not just by a little bit but by a lot and he gets better crap than me I just find that a bit cheap I feel like I'm being I feel like I'm being trolled you know and I shouldn't have to feel like that like and in fact the XP and stuff and make me actually feel more fair with the imbalance because the reason like because you know it's just like it's stupid you know just like, I'm just saying, the loot system either needs to be refined or removed. Because, ultimately, it just has too much flaws. It, it encourages... It has an encouragement for noob atrocity, and it's just, like, it's... It's dumb. You know, because... You know, I'm just saying. Now, if you want a compensation... Because I'm aware they're gonna go, like, okay, then how are the noobs, then ever gonna do it if they're not hardcore players and my answer to that is have it where the noobs can get xp much easier meaning as you get higher in the ranks the more demanding xp is now you get more xp but to accomplish a bounty like you have to do more to get the same amount of xp a newer player would get for example, on a bounty or something. I think that would be a fair compensation because as you progress, everything needs should be a bit harder because you're progressing more. As well as, you know, just use the traditional rank system. You know, like, gosh, they had Halo Reach for a reason. So, you know, the loot system just... It, it, it's just not that great you know now I will admit I will admit this 
if they remove the loot system, there is another random way they can work. And that is something Call of Duty's doing in Halo and stuff is by having a rank per random progression. What Call of Duty and Halo... I'm not going to say Halo because I don't know enough about it, but what Call of Duty has done is that as you get up a rank, you get a supply drop, and that supply drop has random stuff in there as you progress through the ranks. And so encourages better players because... The better you are, the faster you get more and more of these supply drops. And if you're good enough, you'll get an advanced supply drop. But it still helps newer players because the, the selections are mainly random. So, you know, I think that might be a good way to balance it out. Probably, by far, that's probably the best way to balance it out if they want to keep the loot system. So, you know, just that's my overall opinion on that. So, yeah, guys, welcome to part 2 of my Destiny wishlist. I'll be making part 3 real soon. And I'm figuring out a topic to do for part 3. So, you know, part 2, just remove the loot system. And, you know, I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like up this video, subscribe, and, you know... Again, I apologize that I haven't been showing more of my own content. Again, I've just been busy. I haven't really had the time. Not to mention that, again, I was trying to review a lot of the stuff from E3. But since I've reviewed practically almost everything, I should be good. So, peace out, guys.